Hello, my name is Dennis Schauberg of Stroke Awareness Oregon, here to share the seriousness of stroke and what you can do to prevent or decrease its consequences. Strokes are the fifth leading cause of death in Oregon and a major cause of severe, lifelong disability. Learning the warning signs of a stroke is essential to minimizing the seriousness of this potentially life-threatening event. Stroke is not just a disease of older people. Of all strokes, 34% occur in people under the age of 40. Getting treatment fast should be your first priority when dealing with a stroke. Every second matters because each moment without oxygen damages your brain. You want to be able to detect the early signs of a stroke so you can get to the hospital as quickly as possible. We ask people to remember the acronym FAST, F-A-S-T, to spring into action. Stroke Awareness Oregon has partnered with local wellness providers to create a coalition of stroke awareness, sharing this important service announcement which the entire community should know about. Hi, I'm Dr. Mann from Central Oregon Radiology Associates. F stands for face. One of the first signs may well be the person's face. Is there anything abnormal about the person's face? Is their smile drooping? Is their eyelid drooping? Your awareness of this could very well be the first alert that they are having a stroke. Hello, I'm Dr. Jeremy Lanford at High Lakes Medical and Pacific Crest Neurology and A stands for arm. If a person suddenly drops a coffee cup or doesn't have the strength to hold an item up, ask them to raise their arms and observe if one arm is drooping. This could be a sign that someone's having a stroke. Check for other symptoms such as face drooping or speech difficulties. Hi, I'm Dr. Wayne Nelson at Oregon Vascular Specialists. The letter S stands for speech. Listen to the person's speech carefully. Are they slurring their words? Ask them to repeat a very simple phrase. The grass is green. If they cannot repeat that phrase, the higher the risk of stroke. I'm Tony Culver with Ben Fire and T stands for time. If you see any one of these previous signs, face drooping, arm or grip appear to be weak, slurred speech and can't repeat a simple phrase, time is of the essence. Call 911 right away. As a paramedic, we'd rather be safe than sorry. Please call 911 immediately. Hi, I'm Joe Saluka, President and CEO for the St. Charles Health System. You already know to call 911 at the first sign of a heart attack. What you may not know is that a stroke is considered a brain attack and that you should call 911 at the very first symptom of a stroke. Each and every second matters. Some of the signs you should look for are facial droop, arm weakness, changes in speech. If you notice any of these signs, don't wait. Call 911 immediately. If treated soon enough, there are medical procedures that could potentially reverse the damage. All St. Charles emergency departments are fully equipped to treat stroke with St. Charles Bend as a primary stroke center. Make sure you share fast with your friends and loved ones. It could very well save a life. <laughs>